Look at that, Marcus. Sorry, I know I'm messing around, but I'm just noticed. Ah, no, they've just stopped. <laughs> the little calf almost started suckling. Now, again, suckling is quite an intimate behavior between mother and calf. And also, if they were in any ways really perturbed by us being here, that wouldn't even have existed as a possibility. So it shows you that at the moment, this herd is comfortable enough with us being sort of in the middle of them. Look at this guy here. Mark, I'm just apologizing because I know that I'm sort of I'm a bit like this and you can only <laughs> you can only go so many places with a camera. Look at that, we're gonna get closer to them again just now. Hey young mister. <laughs> he's also curious. He's a teenager. He's, he's still a couple of years away from, from leaving the herd. But already he's also at that stage now where he wants to be independent. He was being brave now. And I think it was almost the decided point he was making. The fact that he was on the other side from us relative to the herd. So he was starting to show them a bit of independence. Telling them, that, listen, I'm becoming a big boy. And of course, somewhere over the next few years, two, three years from now, probably four years maybe, he'll start moving off and join the the male society, if you want, of elephants. Breeding herds like this, they are led by very normally the oldest female in the group. The astute matriarch is always literally the, the center of this group. I haven't even seen her yet. I think she's still down there. I dare to hope that it might be that female with a curved tusk, which if we do get to see her, It'll be time to, to find a name for her. I've not been able to come up with a good one yet. Let's see if she pops out. Those of you that's with us, let's see what comes in. Let's follow. See it? Nice. Sydney, how are you? Very good, man. Uh, yeah, very nice and love sighting this, sir. There's quite a few good items moving along then is now sort of either side of the road. <laughs> Alright, cool man. Uh, yeah, it's till tomorrow. See you in the morning. Okay, look good. This morning Ingwe, that youngster from Karula close to Gauri Dam, uh, disappeared into that drainage line. Um, there was tracks apparently twin dams heading north Aubrey had tracks this morning on Bifosik boundary area, um, uh, sort of up there between Galago, uh, Gari shortcut, or Gari cut line and, and Galago shortcut. So, uh, yeah, not seen, but uh, there's around. So, you know, so I was one of the other guys. I know they've had them up in the north, but uh, I haven't, haven't been able to know where exactly. Bushpark Dam, I think, was the last one I stand to be corrected. Enjoy your evening. Guys, quick update there, chatting with Sydney, he hasn't been out here for a week or two. And um, again, this little youngster playing with us, this is a different one again. And it just shows us the interest of the bird. And it's, it, it's nice to see how that develops, that mate, or not the mate shark, the big cow earlier that came up first and gave us a few head shakes and positive action. Then the second female that was down the road, we saw while I was on the radio, down the road giving us another sort of call it a, a, a mock greeting if you want, no it's not a mock greeting, it's a proper greeting. People used to call those things often mockages, but it really is, it's a, it creates a misperception of what is happening. The point I'm getting to is that even these youngsters now are feeling comfortable enough to come and interact with us. So they've seen that the adults are happy enough, adults have communicated to them that they're comfortable enough with us being here and now the young ones start playing around as well. little one there. It's 
spoke about young animals earlier. Hey, little dude. There's a lot of Ellie's here. Welcome, and you managed to see a few in there earlier. There's quite a few further in the bush still as well, huh? Just when the sun came down, there was quite a big one inside there. Yeah. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a very good feeling about being that herd that I hope it is. Also, this female we're looking at, just look at her ear there quickly. You'll see she's got two relatively clear notches. Earlier, she gave me a nice big open ear. Posture, I'll be able to get uh, those marks again. Uh, notice we're talking about it. She did the same thing earlier when I talked about her baby. We were driving along and she was ignoring us, even the car was moving. And then uh, while we were talking about them, suddenly her interest has changed. Need another big mark in that ear as well. So slowly we'll start to get to know the other adults in this herd. tricky to remember all of it in the beginning because we only have these sporadic times when we can see them. They come and go, they move and cover large areas and hopefully they'll stick around. Our water is getting less so Bifflesuk Dam should become a good point for them to, to poke around maybe for a few days lucky. Only hold our thumb. Elephants all the way around, look at that one suckling up to us. Beautiful. The females listening, they're talking to each other at the moment. Look at the way she's standing. That female, you can see the ears slightly up. There's a bit of communication going on there. I think more between the adults. I should maybe just state that it's never scientific fact how I experience and translate what happens around us here. But it's certainly based on an understanding that grew from that. First from research and later on having met many people that are passionate about elephant, that studied them. And... Uh, if I ever misinterpret or misexplain what happens, I apologize for it. As you know, it's not on purpose. But at the same time, I've got a very strong sense of feel when I'm with these elephants. And uh, I'm going to try and keep sharing that with you. around us now. Yamfo is just a little bit south of Goripan. You can pull in. They spread out all over the place. So go again. Uh, slowly mobile, sort of northish. Um, we're probably about 100 meters south of Goripan on Jogensburg Drive. A little bit. Suddenly, a welcome back. Just a quick disappearance there from signal related. All good. These are coming out. This is what I was hoping for. Oof, a bit of talk going on there. This is about something in them, between them. engine running unfortunately which I'm only going to be able to do for a little bit. Hey? Yeah she looks bigger but no, I don't. let's just see come on show us your ears a bit more. Oh the batteries are beeping and with the breeding herd you really don't want to keep the engine running. It's just a slight everything you being here at this moment is a very big part of that.